And now we see that the CIA, as well as many other people, are blaming Donald Trump for aiding and abetting terrorists, which I think is completely ridiculous. And these are the words of Leon Panetta. He is not only accusing the president of the United States of treason and collaborating with the enemy. Well, I think uh, dropping grenades to him is pretty uh, collaborating. But, uh, but in many ways, what he's saying about restricting Muslims from coming into the country, doing surveillance on Muslim mosques, is basically aiding and abetting the enemy at a time we should be unifying and working with the Muslim community. Now, as I already said, uh, they're airdropping grenades to groups like ISIS. They continue to train uh, al-Qaeda jihadis. We've seen the hashtag I did not join campaign many years ago where people were saying, I don't want to fight along al-Qaeda Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then on Friday be told I have to go fight them in Syria. We'll talk about that here in a little bit. But also when you say uh, some of the things he did say, like uh, possibly surveilling Muslim, Muslim mosque, I don't agree with that. But at the same time, that's not aiding and abetting the enemy, arming the enemy as they continue to do for many years, going back to previous administrations when we actually had our troops over in Afghanistan guarding the poppy fields. We've shown you that footage several times. Geraldo talking to the sergeant or whoever the commander was, and he says, oh, why are you doing this? He was like, well, we don't like doing this. It grinds in our gut, but uh, this is their culture. We have to put up with it. That's hating and abetting the enemy. And of course, don't misconstrue what I'm saying here. I'm not blaming the troops for that. I'm blaming the people who gave the orders. And it's not just the CIA here, whether it's college professors or the mainstream media, everybody's jumping in to dogpile on Donald Trump. And you guys know how I feel about Donald Trump. I'm not a, a Trumper, but I think it's asinine to continue to blame a man for actions that he had nothing to do with. I go out to these rallies and I see people, they blame Donald Trump for everything. They blame him for uh, a student loan debt. And I ask him, did you go to Trump University? No, then how is your student loan the problem of a guy who got into politics a year ago? That makes absolutely no sense. It's the same thing when you talk about war or attacks or uh, the economy or anything else. These issues, when I'm talking to the you know 20-somethings, 19-year-olds, 20-year-olds, these issues that have been issues for your entire lifetime, you're blaming on a guy who got into politics a year ago. How could that possibly make sense in your mind? But once again, you're dealing with the mind. You, you've seen some of these videos we posted. You're not always dealing with the most logical people when you go out to these Trump rallies and you're talking to some of these anti-Trumpers. 